selection techniques using Microsoft Excel. I'm going to open Microsoft Excel, we go to Start button and All Programs, search for Microsoft Office and then open Excel 2007. And if necessary, make the sheet fill the whole of the screen. So I'm now going to open our selection techniques document. Now that should be, if you haven't opened it previously, it will actually be in your L1 spreadsheets folder. And I'll just go to that and find it. There we are. Open up the folder and select our selection techniques spreadsheet. As you can see, this is already populated with information. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to select cell C7. Just click on that. As you can see, it's now highlighted. To select a group of cells, we start with the first one and we use our mouse to drag across and if I drag it a little bit further, you can see that that area is now selected. To deselect, we just click outside the area that is selected like that. You can also select cells by using your keyboard. What we'll do here is we'll just click on C6, hold the shift key down and then click on E9. And as you can see, we now have an area selected. Again, to deselect, click outside the selection area. We're going to close this document by pressing Control and F4. If that doesn't work, just close it using the close window button. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to open a new workbook called Deletion Techniques and we go to our Office button, go to Open and because we've previously opened our L1 spreadsheet you'll still find that it will automatically go to that and in this instance we're going to choose the folder Deletion Techniques and we click on that and Open. We're now going to delete one cell. We're going to click on F4 to highlight it. And then we use the delete key and click that. You will now see that the contents have disappeared. We're now going to delete the range from F5 through to F8. To do this, we can either use the drag method where we do that or alternatively, we can click in the first cell, hold our shift key down and click on the last cell and then click delete. And you'll now see that all of the information has been removed. We're now going to save these changes by click on it, clicking on our save button here at the top. And then we're going to close down this workbook, either using Control F4 or, if necessary, do it manually. We're now going to insert additional cell content or modify existing cell content. We go to our Office button and we go to Open and we need to open Editing Data. So click on editing data and open. Right. We want to change the information in our cell D9. So I'm going to click on it. Now there are a number of different ways of doing this. We can either double click in the item to bring the cursor up or we can actually change the information in our formula bar here. Um, in this case, I'm going to use the formula bar. So I'm going to highlight the item, backspace, and then type in 8324. And as you can see, the information has changed. And if we now press enter, that will actually be held in that cell. We're now going to edit some information in one of the cells. We're going to click on C5. And as you can see, it's now highlighted. 
In this case, we can actually use our left and right arrows to um, manipulate the data. What I'm going to do is double click and you'll notice that the cursor is now flashing next to the number two. And I'm going to enter the word sales into the actual cell and I'm going to press the return button. Now, if I just go back to that cell, you'll notice now that the information is actually available in the function bar, formula bar here, and it says sales 2009. If I just use the back or undo typing key, just do that and you can see that, go back to the original. I'm just going to redo that. And as you can see, we can put the information back in. We're now going to save our changes and we click on the save button and we're going to close this document by pressing control F4. We're now going to look at undoing and redoing um, information in our, spread, in our actual spreadsheets. We're going to open a document so we go to office button open and in this case we want to open a file called undo and redo and we click on that and open as you can see there's some information already in this item we're going to click on F2 and what I'd like you to do is click the delete button I'm going to do the same with F3 and click on it and delete and F4 click on it and delete you'll notice that you now have file that has empty spaces in the F range. We're going to go to the undo button, which is here next to the save button, and we're going to click undo three times. And as you can see, this replaces our actual information. If I then click the redo button, I can click that three times and that will remove those items. And if we do the same again. So as you can see, it's quite easy to actually um, repair a mistake that you've made or redo something if you've taken it out um, unexpectedly. We're going to save this document and we're going to close it using Control F4. We're now going to look at copying and moving data between cells using the clipboard. We're going to go to our office button and go to open and we're going to open the file copying and moving data one. And we'll open that. And what we're going to do is click on A4 says this week and we'll hold the shift key down and then click on E8 and as you can see we've now highlighted that range of items and we're going to go to our home button and we're going to click on the word copy and this will now change the actual highlighted area into marching ants Next thing we're going to do is we're going to click on cell H4 and we're going to press the Control and V button to paste. That's Control Victor. And as you can see, we've now copied that information onto our spreadsheet next to its original area. And we can actually clear the clipboard by clicking on the little square here and we just open that up and click clear all and that will take away the marching ants. We'll just click. We're now going to copy from A15 using the shift key through to E19 and using our home button we're going to click on cut 
Now this is actually going to cut it out. You can also use a keyboard shortcut, Control plus X. And if you notice, we now have the marching ants around our selection. I'm going to click in H15. And I can either click the paste button here or use Control plus V. In this case, I'm going to use the paste button. And as you can see, our actual selection has now been cut from its original position and pasted to the new position. We're now going to save this document and we're going to use Control F4 to close it. If that doesn't work, just close it in the normal manner by clicking the close window button. And it's going to ask me if I want to save it. I am going to save it.